you bring us, Arana? Brighton pups? Brighton pups? The news that Lady Belaine was invoking the prophecy of the Dark Heart. I never expected it to lead to the decimation of my old clan at the hands of my sister. Still, I can't help feeling that this was a rehearsal for something even more terrible. Uh, sorry. Uh, what do you mean, even more terrible? The prophecy says it takes more than a handful of deaths to awaken the Dark Heart. Oh, Nathari got something to stir, but I think Lady Belaine just used her to test the waters. The darkness responded, though. Thank the spirits you stopped the ritual. Alright, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. There you are. I that darkness have... Arana mentioned? I think we found it. Verandas has been studying that dark energy down in the library of Arkhsand, trying to figure out what Radha al Saran and Lady Belaine have planned. He thinks it might actually be related to the darkness. The void. The void. Isn't that a terrifying? Look, I'm no scholar. I barely believe in the stuff and I hardly understand it. But the void is the place outside the places. The darkness beyond Mundus and Oblivion. Anyway, Verandas felt a change in the currents. He sent me to get you. A uh, ghost clan which attempted to awaken the Dark Heart. Arana and I stopped her. Well, that would explain it. You might have stopped it from fully awakening, but Verandas says something has changed. Even I could feel it. Come on, Verandas needs you to meet him at Night Hollow Keep. That's All where right. he traced the dark energy to. I'll meet Verandas at Night Hollow Keep. Night Hollow Keep is down in Blackreach, east of the Library of Arxan. Verandas is there. He's waiting for you before he continues his search for the Dark Heart. Uh, tell me more about Night Hollow Keep. It must have been impressive once, but it's falling into ruin now. Apparently, it was the seat of power for an ancient vampire clan, the Night oh. Hollow. All that's left of them are a scattering of feral beasts. Plus, the place is full of void energy. How do we know about the Night Hollow vampires? Not much. I did a lot of digging into the Grey Host, oh, but I never found a scrap about the Night Hollow. We're learning that some of the ancient vampire clans built kingdoms in Blackreach. My guess? The Night Hollow have been hiding down there forever. They, uh, there are ancient vampire kingdoms under the Reach. There were. Skyrim too. Uh, it seems that long ago the first clans established an empire beneath the surface. Even Verandas thought it was only a legend. But we're finding more and more proof every time we enter a new cavern down in Blackreach. Tell me more about this void energy. That strange dark magic that's drifting around the library of Arxan, Verandas calls it void energy. He's been studying it, trying to find its source. That's what led him to Night Hollow Keep. Does Verandas think void energy is dangerous? Well, you know those shades. Verandas says they're souls that got caught in the currents. It twisted them into hungry, hateful shadows. But you also used it to move around, so it's not all bad. He's worried that Radha al Saran wants that energy. All right. Perfect timing, my friend. I think the Dark Heart is close by. The pockets of energy we discovered in the library of Arxan, they're even stronger here. The void energy permeates that ancient keep. I suspect the Dark Heart hides somewhere inside, and I fear that it's growing stronger. Arana's sister sacrificed much of her clan to attempt to awaken the Dark Heart. Interesting. The Dark Heart hasn't fully awakened, but I did feel it stir. We need to find the Dark Heart, whatever it is, and prevent Radha and Belaine from using it. I thought it was a dwarven artifact, but then why was I drawn to Night Hollow Keep? What do you know about Night Hollow Keep? Very little, I'm afraid. The whole idea of a kingdom of ancient vampire clans hiding in the depths of Blackreach... Well, I thought it was nothing more than a legend. Let's explore the keep and see what we can learn while we try to find the Dark Heart. Alright, I'll help you search Night Hollow Keep. Let's you and I split up and search the keep while Gwendis returns to Markarth. We know Lady Belaine has something in mind for the city and one of us should be close at hand. Inside, look for personal items. I can use them to glean information. How will personal items help you learn anything about Night Hollow Keep? One of my talents involves Auromancy magic. Certain really? inanimate objects, especially items that hold significant personal value, 
and become imbued with the auras of those who possess them. Sometimes I can read vague impressions, sometimes more. All right. So, kind of like clairvoyancy. All right, tell me more about Oramancy. Important events and powerful emotions leave a mark on their surroundings. Oromancy deals with evoking memories from the auras left behind on objects. It's an arcane art that I have perfected over the centuries. It often helps me in my work. How do you think it will help us here? Oromancy is a useful tool for unraveling the history of ancient places. Clearly, this keep was once great. Now it's forgotten. Yet a power our enemies covet stirs within. I think the story of this place is the story of the Dark Heart. Could these not all vampires be related to Rada al -Saran? I don't see how. Rada al -Saran was a Yakudan swordmaster before he came to Tamriel. His vampirism is a result of a meeting with Molag Bol. At least that's how I understand it. Lady Belaine, however, her origins are unknown to me. Is that why the search for the Dark Heart is leading us to Night Hollow Key? A good question. We know that Rodder promises freedom to the Grey Host. He spent centuries bringing the various elements of his plan together. How the Night Hollow fit in, I can't say. At least not yet. Hopefully the answers await us in the Keep. Alright. Let's go. Now, Gwendis, you know I never ask anything without good reason. Markov is in danger. Fine. But when the real action starts, I won't sit on the side and let you deal with all the danger. <laughs> Gwendis. I want to say goodbye. There you are. See if you can find a personal object within this ancient study. I know. Did you find something? Bring it here. What did you find? My Auromancy works best on a personal possession, something with an emotional aura, or even an arcane residue clinging to it. I found some sort of old insignia. Will this work? Let me see. Hmm. A pity the stone is damaged, but it still retains a trace of magical aura. There are different ways to evoke echoes of the past. Objects that people wore or carried tend to collect and hold strong impressions. Do you know what that insignia is? No, but it appears to be a pin or an emblem of some kind. The owner would have worn it on their clothing, close to their body. Good. Let's see if it has anything to show us. Keep your eyes open and observe. I'll watch and see what your magic reveals. A gift for me, my love. I have chosen. Tonight, you and Rain will drink from the Dark Heart. I have longed for this moment, my lady. Soon, you will be a lord of the Night Hollow Clan. One of my chosen. So Lady Belaine did belong to the Night Hollow clan. Interesting. I sense that Lady Belaine was ancient, but the vision confirms she was not only part of the Night Hollow clan, she was their leader. The Dark Heart gets more interesting at every turn. How did they drink from it? For that matter, what did they drink? Will any of that help you figure out what the Dark Heart ends? Yes, but we need more information. I can deduce that the Dark Heart is some sort of power source, that much is obvious, and it's tied to the Void energy we encountered. Plus, the currents got stronger when Arana's sister sacrificed her clanmates. Why are the vampires here so different? They're more like crazed monsters than intelligent beings. Yes, I noticed that too. Whether due to the long centuries of isolation or something more sinister, they are shadows of their former selves. Take the insignia with you and keep exploring. Now that it's charged, more memories may reveal themselves. I don't understand. I cast Oromancy upon the insignia. Oh. The lingering magic may reveal additional scenes from the past as you explore these halls. Phantasms, really. Harmless. And keep watch for more void portals. 
As an artisan, they may help you navigate this place. I'll look for void portals and watch for the memories as I explore. Missing. I know, I know there's some rules to watch. Take a look around. But, uh... This room is better preserved than most of the others I've explored. It was apparently the suite of someone important. Look around. Something here must hold a strong memory. Alright. Oh, look, a coffer. I found another you found something now. I can cast my Auromancy upon. My explorations have turned up very little, but it looks like you've had better luck. What did you find? I found another insignia. It appears to be undamaged. Exactly what I was hoping for. I suspect the Night Hollow nobles wore these as a badge of rank. Let's see what we can learn with a little more Auromancy. I'll watch while you perform your magic. You broke through. The way to the Dark Heart is open. But the heart falters. Something is wrong. Worse, they depleted its energy. Seal the Dark Halls! Until the heart recovers, only those who bear the sign of the Inner Circle may partake of its gifts. I think I understand what happened to the Night Hollow clan. I suspect Lady Belaine is the survivor of a long decline. While the rest of her clan slid into madness, she alone remained to carry on their legacy. Such a bitter pill for a proud vampire. What did we just say? That memory comes from a later time. The Lord spoke of opening a way to the Dark Heart, which implies the Night Hollow lost access to it at some point. Oh. But what are these Dark Halls Lady Belaine spoke of? Where can we find them? Maybe the Dark Halls lead to the Dark Heart. Perhaps. And maybe we have the key. Lady Belaine said that only those who bear the sign of the Inner Circle can utilize the Heart. That must refer to the insignias you found. Let's look for these Dark Halls. All right, I'll look for the entrance to the Dark Halls. More than likely, the Dark Halls lie below us somewhere. See if you can find a way down while I attempt to trace the currents of void energy that radiate throughout this ruin. None of us should find a way through. Vampires, dwarves, rich witches. Who does the Dark Heart really belong to? The best answer may be none of them. 
I suspect the Dark Heart may have been here before all of them. Oh. More than likely, they found it, made use of it. Across the ages, different people may have been drawn to its power. We may never know for sure. Do you think it threw Radaus around? Perhaps. It's curious, isn't it? I wonder if the Dark Heart has a purpose of its own. And we better keep going. Until we actually find this thing, all we have, I guess is. Alright. 